Cut that guy off. <laughs> Uh, do you want to, before I ask the last question, do you want to do it 
We haven't even dunked on that guy at all. Let me say, Donald Trump, I mean, whatever, I own that I find his tweets funny. So his tweet about Howard Schultz was really funny. And I, I'm not going to put it up there because I just can't do that, but I can paraphrase it. So 50% committing to laughing with him. I can't go the whole hundred. So uh, Howard Schultz said in an interview recently, he was like, look, I know that I'm not the smartest guy in the room. That's like, uh, I trust people around me. And each other was just like, self-described, not smart. <laughs> he doesn't have the guts to run. And I was like, no, oh, it's not. Yeah, it was like the other one I'll, I'll build myself was when John Kerry was like, maybe I'll run the run. It's probably like, fuck Hillary Clinton and John Kerry yeah. specifically. So. But, John, but, uh, but uh, Trump tweeted out, he was like, I heard John Kerry might run. I should be so lucky. Dash. And then he goes, and then he writes, dash. It's like, but seriously, the 2020 field is shaping up to look pretty good. For me. <laughs> I was not over where I was like, you still have it. You've had a lot of sophomore slumps. Like, the peak of like, impersonating Rubio drinking water was like, you're open. <laughs> Radically implied sense, but yeah. Yeah, who do the Dems have that's like kind of funny? Oh, what is it? Who do the Dems have that's like kind of funny? Tulsi. AOC is kind of funny. Uh, Bernie. Malice Bernie. Bernie. Uh, we don't have we don't have genealogy. There isn't a roast master. There isn't. A, guys, this is good. We're talking. There isn't. There isn't a roast. There isn't a roast master general to them credit for. That's what we're shooting to leave you. Well, I have a concept for those of you who listen to a certain highly vulgar podcast with three men. I had a, a concept of a woman version. I, I had a version of the show. Ejaculate Village. To live and Ilan Omar. I got on to tell you about it. It's very funny. Um, last question before we have one more guy and then we're going to everybody on stage and take some questions from you. Probably not you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but seriously, look, you've been a socialist legitimately since you're in high school. I think, I, you know, I've been on the Woo! about, I, a lot of people have not been a, good for you, props, but not a lot of people were reading Trotsky uh, in the way you were since high school. So, I mean, we're now even broader horizon than all of our parents own a used bookstore. What do you feel about the prospects of socialism in our time? It's a big it's a blue sky. Uh, well, I, I would say in general, there's no advantage to having to become a socialist necessarily. It's almost like um, if any of you have ever written anything, it's like a curve. Oh, actually, I use a Civil War now. No, I use it right now. I'm sorry. I'm not a professional this shit. Um, so it's like you're pretty good at writing because you're writing like a 12 year old writes, which is just like, here's what I did today. And it's just super clear and direct. And then some motherfucker teaches you adverbs. <laughs> like, wow, I'm so, I was so versatile today. My day was so versatile. And I was so proudly, you know, marching, you know, whatever. So the show's kind of, been very versatile. But yeah, it's kind of like a curve, right? So right. I think I got super politicized into tradition. I was at protests, I was in socialist groups, I was, I was kind of uh, a Marxist. And then, like I said before, kind of supremely confident that with the right program, with the right set of ideas, like socialism will one day be relevant. And I think in the grand scheme of things, scheme of things it was right. Um, but I think through Bernie, we learned to one, be confident in the moral core of our politics, but also lose a lot of the baggage. Left is best. Left is best. Ideas. And, but in a real significant way, particularly in our circles. I and mean, Jacobin has put a lot on the table, man. Woo! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. You guys want us to go a little bit past nine? Yeah. yeah.
Yes! Can we walk out? Can we walk out? I think we'll do this. Do you want me to do an impersonation of Bernie campaigning against Warren like Donald Trump? Hold on to this, everybody. Wandering Dole is all, everybody. Wandering Dole is all. That was totally antithetical to what we just agreed to. But it was funny. Um, actually, all of that stuff against her is bullshit, and don't indulge it unless you can be as funny. She apologized today. Good for her. This part is good. So, what we're going to do, though, is we have one final wheat guided meditation. Then we're going to bring T and Alona back out. We're going to take a handful of questions from you guys. But first, before anything happens, uh, this one was this one was unreal. This is literally a blurring of spheres of reality. 